appreciate everybody checking out my video for first form athlete search. Um, it's really uncomfortable for me. I've never done anything like this. Uh, just I didn't even know we had to make a video. And uh, Andy put something on Facebook yesterday, and I was like, shit. So I'm kind of scrambling, trying to put it all together, just put my uh, basically why I think foot forward and we'll I represent all the um, core values. Tell you a little bit about myself. That first form my offers. Joey Hackett. Some people call me Joe. My mother calls me Joseph when I get in trouble. Um, I was born in St. Louis, moved up to the Chicago area when I was three. Uh, moved to back to St. Louis in 2007. Uh, I moved down there because I couldn't stop drinking and I kept getting in trouble. And my grandparents lived down there. Both my parents were born and raised down there. So I moved back down there. Um, and then about a little over a year and a half ago, I moved out to Prescott, Arizona, which is where I live now. Um, I moved out here to go to substance abuse treatment. Um, you know, I was weighing about a buck fifty, which is really light for me. And um, I just couldn't stop drinking. And most importantly, I couldn't stop hurting my family. I couldn't stop hurting myself. And uh, February 17th of 2014, which is my birthday, um, I tried to kill myself. Uh, luckily, my mom walked in right when it happened. And she got me to the hospital. I went to an inpatient rehab for 28 days. And then I came out here for a long term sober living. Um, and now I now work for the treatment center that I went through. Um, it's been a blessing. I spent six months in treatment. I've been sober for a little over 19 months right now. And uh, it's pretty cool because I'm part of uh, a 12 step program, which demands anonymity, so I won't break which 12 step program. But um, a lot of the core values that Annie talks about in the first form and Supplement Superstore talk about is kind of the values that we live by in this 12-step program, you know, being a good person, helping other people out, taking responsibility for stuff, um, showing some initiative. Uh, and I think it's really cool because I spent, I spent a good time in my 20s just lost. And, um, you know, I've always worked out except for when I was drinking. And I got, I got pretty light. Um, I got really light. And, uh, you know, I was just running, I was escaping, and it, it was killing me. The biggest thing I was escaping from is um, I was sexually abused by a soccer coach from the ages of 6 through 10. Um, it was something I was never going to tell anybody. And it finally came out um, about three years ago. It's something I talk about pretty openly now. I mean, I'm not going to just start a conversation with like, hey, I was sexually abused for you know, four years growing up, but it's something that, um, that unfortunately happens a lot more than, um, than is talked about. And so I want to be one of those voices that helps people if they have that problem, especially men. I know it happens a lot with women, uh, but men, it's, there's a lot of studies that say between one and four, four, um, children growing up are sexually abused, which is just, which is horrible. And, um, you know, me wanting to hold that secret and everything and not talk about it and not do anything, uh, it ultimately led to, to it all, almost led, led to my demise. I mean, uh, I was perfectly content with dying instead of, uh, instead of coming out with it. And so, um, now that's something I feel, it's something I'm open with, um, something that, uh, that really is like a new lease on life is letting that out, going through some trauma work that I had to go through, uh, with like flashbacks and everything like that, and doing a lot of that kind of stuff. And I mean, it's not that it never comes up anymore, but um, it doesn't come up in the capacity that it used to come up. And uh, it's something that I hated what happened to me. Um, I hate that um, what it did was make me a victim in everything in my life. Um, people owe me stuff, the world owe me this stuff because this happened to me. Yet people didn't know that, but it was just like, poor me, poor me, poor me. And it is, it is sad for a child to have to go through that. I apologize about cutting out there, uh, running out of storage space. So the biggest thing um, 
is really not living that life of victim victimization, I guess. And it's cool. I've heard Andy talk about it a lot on some of his periscopes, and also talking about it on uh, also talking about it on the MFCEO project, man. And um, you know, I want to participate in my first ever show um, this November. And it's something that I never thought I would do, strictly because um, of what I thought the industry was. It was all about look at me, look at me. Um, all this kind of shit, and since I've got involved in first form and um, really become friends with a lot of people around it, it's kind of like, you know, I'm going to do this show and show people that, um, you know, we can do stuff in a healthy way and we can do stuff that's not about me. Um, it's about hard work, perseverance, and, uh, you know, I feel like I do have a, a short story to tell people in the story. Everybody does, but... Um, I just want to, uh, I don't know, man, I, I feel like God or creative being puts us all here to really help people, and that's, this would be an amazing platform to be able to do that, and not only show my experience with, uh, you know, child abuse, but um, also people who abuse drugs who I get to see and work with every day, and alcohol like me, and um, all that kind of stuff, and uh you know, I, th I think it would be a great platform to be able to help people, inspire people. And, um, so I'm going to roll through some videos of kind of myself and I'll, I'll talk through some of the videos and, uh, and we'll just go from there, man. And, uh, I really appreciate you guys taking some time out and, uh, if nothing else, I, I look forward to continue to see what happens with First Form and support it and support uh, support this mission of becoming, changing the fitness industry and the wellness industry and do something that's a positive, healthy place instead of um, kind of what it is right now. I, th I think it is transforming more and more in, into, a, into a more healthy and better way and hopefully we can keep doing that. Um, so once again, I appreciate you checking out this video, and uh, Legion of Boom, baby. This is a Special Olympics swim team um, that I'm going to coach up here out in Prescott. No, I think you can get it up to like 12. <laughs> this is my girlfriend out at Summer Smash. This was her first introduction to... Uh, First form, and now she's, uh, now she's just about. Almost she's, there? She gets a little crazy with that megawatt though, but uh, she really enjoys everything First Form stands for, and it all came from Summer Smash. This is where I work. Um, it's called Clean Adventures out in Prescott, Arizona. It's a men's sober living facility. Uh, those are a bunch of trips we do. Some of them are hiking Grand Canyon, whitewater rafting Grand Canyon, stuff like this. And uh, we help men usually between the ages of 20 and 25 is probably our average um, get off drugs and alcohol. It's really a very rewarding job that I get to do. Sometimes frustrating, but rewarding job day in and day out. This is just out shooting some guns. Um, the next one actually is conditioning while listening to Andy. You know, it's, yeah, it was fucking nice not getting paid for 10 motherfucking years. That was really fucking nice. When you were out fucking getting your job, working your career for... All right, so that's it for me. Um, I hope this got you guys a little bit more about who I am and what I stand for. And uh, and I, uh, I can't wait till October 1st to see who the winner is, man. And uh, just wish everybody the best of luck. And uh, Legion of Boom, baby.